Hey, what's up? You are looking for a good pant? Let's talk about it. I think we're looking for a handful of things when we're looking for a good pair of pants. And these Boundary Supply Chase pants are very, very interesting. One of the things that modern people want from a good pant is mobility. We're active people. I wanna be able to hop a fence in my pants and style, right? So mobility and style oftentimes don't come hand in hand. That's different with these pants. They really are very, very mobile. Not only can I move around freely in these and hop any fence that I want to, but then also like they don't get really scuffed up and dirty. They, the dirt just wipes right off of it. They're really water resistant. I love all that. So in my mobility and moving around, I can get dirty and just wipe myself off. And the second thing we want from pants, I think, is style. We, now, style is in quotes here because what style do you want to dress in? I, it might be different than mine. What I like about these pants from Boundary Supply is that they are a kind of just a basic, like an essential. Like, a, like They're not saying too much. They're just a standard pant that happens to have a lot of interesting features. But more than anything else, it just has a good fit. The fit of a pant is really what makes it, and everybody's body is different. <laughs> so whether or not these pants are gonna fit you will be up to you know you and God or whatever, whoever you make your decisions on if, if these pants look good on you or not is. They do come in a regular and a slim, it looks like. Right now it's on Kickstarter currently. I love this company, personally. I love their bags. I love the way they think about making products. Um, and so I'm very interested in everything that they're doing. They sent me a pair of these to review, but they didn't, they're not paying me to review this. So I'm giving you my, my feedback here. And the first two points I'm making are just mobility's off the charts, really, really, really stretchy. I love that. And then secondly, style is fine for me. It's satisfying. I typically go for just a regular looking jean. Like I want to look a little more, you know, just basic jean, but these tech or travel pants, have a handful of great features. And I'm gonna show you those features here in a second. But first of all, another thing that we really need from our pant is that it's not too hot and it's not too cold. We don't want our pants to overheat us when it's warm outside. We don't want them to underheat us because cold balls and, you know, vulvas are, they can get really cold. I think that a lot of you are gonna find these pants to be great and some of you are gonna find them to be a little warm. Uh, I've noticed them to be a little warm at some points, but because they're made with the kind of natural materials in certain places, there's a lot of moisture wicking going on, okay? So the heat, you can live with it really easily because nothing actually feels too funky. Now these are not merino pants. They're a mix of like Lycra, merino, nylon 6.6, a handful of very, very technical materials that are put together to get the kind of performance from this very city kind of pant. Uh, I think that, that you're gonna notice all of the quality of these materials just in the tactical, the feel of it, right? And you might also notice it's a little on the warm side. I've been free balling in these things. For the ladies, that means going commando. That means no undies, no chonies, no fudgies. I feel really comfortable in them, like lots of movement, lots of, like, lots of activities that I've been doing in this, these pants, but uh, I also have noticed there's a slight warmth, but I'm in San Diego right now and it's just clicking into summer. So if you're in your jungle material, like you're gonna wanna be in a pair of like fucking underwear, like flowy linen shorts or something like that. But if you're in Manhattan, if you're in Brooklyn, if you're in Boston or, or uh, Boulder or Portland or San Francisco or LA or Austin or any, or any of Chicago, any place, any city, any place where you gotta be a big boy or a big girl and you want the mobility, I think this is one of my favorite pants that I've found, for sure, for that tech travel kind of pant. And we haven't even gotten into the features yet. Okay, so features wise, we want there to be enough pockets. Because they designed it as a travel pant, um, not just for regular everyday stuff, but for traveling as well, where you might wanna have like your passport in a zipped up safe pocket on your butt. They've got that safe, zipped up, no pickpockets getting into that zipper. Unless, I mean, I don't know, these Italians can be pretty tricky, but I think you're good. Then they have the regular, you know, regular front pockets, both sides, and, and one of them on the right 
has the little pocket, which I use for my little vaporizer. I just throw that right in there. And daddy's got his little secret sauce. But then there are two more secret pockets on this pant, okay? One on the right thigh, one on the left thigh. They're oriented a little bit differently. This one on the right thigh is up here right by my hip, and it's just got a nice little, nice little zipper right there, and it's a big pocket where I throw, sometimes I'll just throw cash, or um, I actually have a little battery because I'm constantly bringing my iPad around or for my phone or for my headphones that I put in my other pocket, this little anchor battery, I'll put a link in the description below to this thing, which I actually can just fit right in there. And I barely, I mean, it's, it's heavy and it's a battery, but I don't notice it, notice it very much. Then on this other side, down here a little bit more in the middle of your thigh, you have this, uh, this zippered compartment right here, and it goes that way. So that's where I've been throwing my headphones, my Jabra 65Ts, which I'm testing right now. Got a little carrying case, which actually is a battery. If you can, if, you know, my, the AirPods are basically, anyways, I've got a review coming on this soon and, uh, so I'm constantly carrying around earbuds like this. And these pants are awesome for that because they're not, then that thing isn't in your pocket. It's just in this like little zipped away thing. The cash having it in a little zipped away pocket is so nice because then it's not, I can actually use my front pockets and not have a bunch of crap in there. So does it have enough pockets? Dude, it has a lot of pockets. I've traveled with a lot of travel pants. I've tried a lot of different, you know, tech travel pants out. This is the most I've found that's like an actual real pant that, that isn't a gimmick, that isn't just an Instagram ad. Um, I really like this, besides the Western Rise stuff. I really like Western Rise stuff because they're also doing very interesting stuff with just the material. Then the other thing here is do these pants cause like an ungodly amount of harm on the planet? Are we paying for sweatshops? Are we paying for... The thing is with clothes guys in fast fashion we've really sort of screwed the pooch and used resources totally irresponsibly. So a lot of us in in the world are like what are the pants, the shirts, the clothing that like we really need to clothe our body with because aesthetics and style, functionality, all this stuff really matters. But we don't want to be sort of raping the planet accident, like behind, like we didn't even know how bad our supply chain was, right? What's great about these guys is they have a sustainability mindset that is, that will blow <laughs> the tip of your brain off. These pants and everything that, that Boundary Supply does, I believe, are uh, Blue Sign certified, which means they have a really robust set of criteria that have to be met in order to get that certification for all the factories, for all the materials that are being used, the labor. So these pants come <laughs> totally guilt free. In fact, you're contributing to um, an ecosystem of product makers and designers creating products for modern life with the value of sustainability built in. So it's not like a, it's not like a afterthought. So these boundary supply pants, the chase pant, they're one of a handful of tech travel type modern tech, like, like just, I don't know. It's a new generation of pants. It's a new generation of clothing where we all have MacBook Pros and we're creative directors and running agencies and we've got work to do in the world and we wanna go out hiking on the trail, we wanna run down to the beach real quick, we also wanna take a meeting and get to the pub with our friends and we wanna, fuck man, I'll go do a workout in the park with these things, right? And, uh, and I need it to work for all of those activities and these do a really good job of it. So far, I've only tested them for about two weeks. I think these things are sensational. So um, I wanted to get a video out before their Kickstarter ended because I'm a huge fan of them. And uh, they might just be your next favorite pant. The Boundary Supply Chase plant, plant, fan, fan, plant, pant, fan, it's the pant. It's a pant. You gotta cover your ass, you know? You gotta cover your ass, you gotta cover your, you gotta cover your, all your undercarriage, right? because people don't want to look at it. Actually, I think a lot of people do want to look at it, and that's probably why you want to cover it up. Things specifically about you ladies out there. So listen, these aren't the only pants you should probably know about. There's a lot of others. So I'm collecting a list over at matterful.co slash pants. I'll put a link to that in the description below at this time code. If 
you use my links, it does support this channel, but don't do it if you don't want to buy me a beer because if you might just hate me, you go like, cut your hair, you fucking hippie. Totally understand. <laughs> you can just search for Boundary Supply Pant and probably find what you're looking for. And if you're interested in conscious consumption and finding modern, every, modern products for everyday life that are actually keeping their promises and actually doing a good job of being what they said they're gonna fucking be, right? Like one of the things I hate most in modern life, right? You, you're looking at, you're, you think about looking at a digital camera, right? You're researching, look at the website. Oh, it's so flashy. You get the like, the, the box. It's like, oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, look at all this interesting shit. And then you get the instruction manual. And it's like, the, <laughs> it's just so bland and gross and not helpful and not well conceived, right? It's like, this is that way that companies treat us a lot is they have all of this flashy marketing stuff to get us into the purchase. And once they got our money, then it's like, all right, you, here's, here's a fucking textbook, go figure it out on your own. It's just a metaphor for what, it's like, what it can be like in modern life today because a lot of people are starting businesses, a lot of people wanna make money and they don't know how to make good products and they don't care about the consumer and they don't uh, have the, 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 the well-being of the entire planet at heart. That's what I like about Boundary so much really wicked designers, like super sensational designers, very thoughtful. Materials people, okay? They're not just about like getting the right, you know, getting the right style on you. It's like, what, is the, what are the right materials? The material is such a big part of, of and I love that these guys are like wizards of materials, but also this eco sort of sustainability vibe thing. It blows my mind that they're, they're, uh, they're as thoughtful as they are because they really, sh they don't have to be. They could make a lot more money if they weren't. I think so. So, cheers to you, Boundary Supply. And I think this pant might be your next favorite pant. So try it out if you're interested and uh, look at the links below to, you know, to purchase if you're into it. Thanks for watching, you guys. Subscribe if you're into the conscious consumption and getting products that are actually keeping their promises. I'm rambling now, so I'm gonna turn this off. Goodbye.